Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back if you're returning. My name is Rachel and I am an online reseller. I sell clothing on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I'm doing a 90 day update on the three one teaspoon boxes that I bought from Boutique by the Box a few months ago. So if you want to see how much money I made and if I would buy these boxes again, definitely stick around. So I'm just gonna knock out all three in this one video, just because each box was only 10 pieces and in interest of keeping the video at a decent length, I'm just gonna go ahead and share all three results in this one video. So if you like reseller content, certainly consider subscribing to my channel. One of my favorite things to do on this channel is show you what I purchase online, online liquidation, online thrifting for my reseller business. I love coming on here 90 days later and then actually showing you what has sold and how much it's sold for. Since I become a full-time mama, I really don't do a lot of thrifting anymore. So like 90% or more of everything I buy for my reseller business that I'm profiting on comes from these liquidation companies. And hopefully it helps you make some decisions for your reseller business if maybe you were considering buying these boxes, if you've seen them hyped up online, um, and you really want to see what's in them and if they are worth it to you. So what I'm going to do for this video, I'll show you, I'm going to go through each box individually. We'll do the women's, then the men's, then the kids. And at the end, I'll give you sort of like my final overview and my summary. Um, if at any point you do want to purchase boxes from Boutique by the Box, there is a link down below or if you want to use my code oh yeah you can only use that code one time so if you have used my code oh yeah before you're not going to be able to use that one again for 10 percent off but i do have another one now it's oh yeah five which will give you five percent off um, your order and that is for repeat customers so if you are shopping on the site either for this box or any other boxes you might as well take a little bit of money off and it also that helps me out a little bit too so Anyway, let's get right into it. I'm gonna go over the women's box first. I'll show you what has sold, I'll show you what hasn't sold, and we'll talk profit at the end. This box was um, 10 pieces for $19 a piece or $190 for the 10 pieces. Um, as of right now, I have sold six and I have four left. So in order of smallest to largest of what has sold, I have the awesome baggies and blush. So these were kind of like a pinkish color if I remember correctly. Uh, these sold for $28 on Poshmark. I did um, list these for much, much higher, but we were getting close to the 90 day mark or at least closer. They hadn't had a ton of interest. So somebody offered me $28. I went ahead and took it. Um, then I had the awesome baggies in Montana blue. These sold for $32 by offer on Poshmark, which means um, most likely I was doing closet clear out or not closet clear out, um, offer to likers. <laughs> and uh, I made an offer that somebody accepted. Um, that one was getting close closer to 90 days with not a ton of interest. So I went ahead and uh, sent out some generous discounts that day, I'm sure. Um, next up, this was an eBay sale, the Blue Cult, Blue Cult High Waisted Bonita Shorts. Um, these were a size 27, and these sold on eBay. Um, these took about two months, but they were a $45 eBay sale. Um, most likely accepted an offer, or somebody made me an offer on those. Um, when I list on eBay, everything I... I initially put on there at .99, so I probably listed these at like, I don't know, $59.99 or whatever. Um, so if they sold for $45, either I sent offers to watchers or somebody sent me an offer, I'm not really sure which, um, but because it's an even zero, zero dollar amount, that's likely what happened. Um, then I had another pair of shorts. These were the Black Bandit shorts, and I unfortunately don't have a screenshot because these actually sold pretty quickly within two weeks, um, and I'm a little bit past the 90-day mark on this video. Um, these sold for $50 on eBay, and I'll link the original video too down below. In fact, I'll link all three original videos. If you want to watch the original unboxing videos, you'll see those shorts in there. Um, I had a pair of the super khaki shorts. These were a $50 Poshmark sale. These sold after about six weeks. So a little higher uh, price on those, so sales price on those. And um, then the highest selling item in this box 
which is kind of cool and kind of disappointing at the same time, was the um, utility military suit. It was like a denim chambray um, jumper, like shorts with a, like a one piece. And um, I can tell you right now, I had this listed way higher initially, um, but it sold for $55. It had a lot of interest, but like no takers. You know, I had a lot of likes, I had some lowball offers, and then finally, I think somebody offered me $55, which was more than I had received an offer for initially, but less than I really wanted, but I did go ahead and accept it because it had been over two months, and I didn't want to take the chance of countering and losing the sale. I'm just going to be honest. So I went ahead and accepted a $55 offer on that. Still left from this box, I do have four pieces. I have a pair of the awesome baggy jeans. I'm surprised that the, these haven't sold. I, I feel like these are kind of cool. Like, I'm not that cool, but like in style, right? <laughs> so I'm kind of surprised that these haven't sold, but I have moderately high hopes for fall. I have been starting to sell a little bit more denim over the past week or so um, as people prepare to go back to school and things like that. So hopefully these will sell soon. I am very surprised these have not sold. The Kansas straight walker shorts. These are super unique. They're a great style. Um, they're a size 29, so they're a great size. And they've had a decent amount of interest, but yeah, no takers. So I'm very surprised about those. I think selling those would have definitely given the box a boost. I have the Palm Kingston romper. Um, this has had some interest, but again, no sales. I will tell you that when I first listed this, I went to find the, you know, the photos and descriptions on the internet. And um, this was originally sold at Revolve. And the reviews on the item on the Revolve website, I mean, this, this romper got like one and a half stars or something crazy. Like, generally people didn't like this jumpsuit for whatever reason or this romper. So, um... I guess I'm not surprised knowing that. I'm ge I guess I'm not surprised that it hasn't sold. And then the last item that I have is the Zephyr tr Trucker jacket. And I think actually this jacket is really neat. Um, but it is a small size. It's an extra small. So fingers crossed for fall on this one too. I listed this stuff at eh, right in the middle of spring. So I guess I there could like, it was one of those like this was either going to sell like right away or it was going to wait till fall. And so here we are in fall. Okay, so on this box, um, total paid $190, $19 a piece. Six out of 10 sold for remaining. My total profit on this box as of right now, $38.11. So typically with liquidation, where I'm paying up a little bit for new with tag or higher quality items, which is the case here, as with the other two boxes, I want to double my money, meaning I wanted to make my 190 back plus another 190. Um, I'm not there. I'm at $38, which means I've just broken even on this box. Um, not to say, I think I do have some pieces in here. There's a couple substantial pieces at least that um, should they sell off, I would still hit that double mark. I'm just not there yet. Um, so not quick sellers, not super high sellers, but I'm broke even, so I, I at least haven't lost any money. That being said, let's move on to the men's box, and I will show you what uh, what the results are on that one. So this box was also 10 pieces, and this box was $150, $15 per piece. This one actually only had, I think, three different styles. There was some size variety, but the same styles. So out of this box, I actually have only sold two pieces and I have eight remaining. So um, I'm sure you can see where this one is going, but I will show you what sold and then what I still have. That being said, I, I can see why if a 10 piece box has three of the same styles in multiples, I can only imagine how saturated the market is for these particular styles. And in my opinion, just looking at what they are, they're not super sought after styles to begin with. 
So what has sold? I had a pair of the Blue Suede Mr. Browns in a size 34. Um, I do still have two of these remaining in a size 34. The one that I did sell sold for $15 on Poshmark. So here's the deal with that. Um, I had no interest on them. I have three of the same pair of jeans. So at this point, all I'm doing is storing them. They had been listed over two months with no interest. Knowing that I have this pair plus two more, somebody sent me a $15 offer and I was like, you know what? It's better to have that $15 than to have them sitting here. So I did go ahead and accept a $15 offer on a pair of jeans that I paid $15 for, which means I lost a little bit of money because you know, with the Poshmark fees and all of that, it was not even an even break. Um, however, I do still have two pair and I didn't really want them sitting around. And then the other ones that sold, another pair of the blue, spa blue suede Mr. Browns. These were a size 31. Um, it was the only pair of 31 that I got. I think maybe somebody who was seeking out this style maybe there weren't as many size 31s available so I had a little bit more luck or maybe it was just that luck I guess I don't know but even still these took a little over two months to sell and they did sell for $43 on Poshmark so what's left um, I have the Brando jeans the Mr. Brown's Brando jeans two pairs of size 34 long I have the Mr. White's denim bl denim blue jeans in s blue suede. Um, I've got a 29, a 30, and a 32. Those are all listed with no interest. And I did receive one pair of Mr. Blue's limestone jeans. So these are a little bit lighter wash uh, or a, a very light wash, actually, uh, size 34 long. And those are still here as well. So I'm sure you can tell where this is going. I spent $150 on this box on my profit right now. Unfortunately, it's non-existent. I'm still $103 on, in the hole on this one. So, yeah, this was definitely not my favorite box. And if anybody is interested in any of the styles that you saw, definitely hit me up on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, preferably Mercari because they take the lowest amount of fees. Um, and I will certainly cut you a deal because I can't seem to move these to save my life. So let's move on to the kids box. Well, this is actually girls. This is the one teaspoon girls box. And I bought this one right around the same time. I was in a big push at this point in my life to get inventory listed quickly because this was like the end of March and I had my daughter the beginning of April and I knew I was going to have to take some time off to, you know, give birth and, and be a mama. So I uh, wanted to really stock up and load, front load my stores for uh, for the spring and summer. So I purchased all three of these boxes right around the same time. This was an $80 box for 10 pieces of one teaspoon girls shorts and skirts. Um, I did receive two pairs of shorts and eight skirts in this box. I have sold two pieces. I have eight pieces remaining. What has sold? The shorts. Both pairs of shorts sold actually really quickly. Um, one of the pairs of shorts sold for $40 on Poshmark. Uh, the next day they were listed. Literally like one day. And um, the other pair sold on Poshmark as well, listed for four days, $40. So if the entire box was filled with those shorts, yeah, this would have been amazing. However, it was the two pairs of shorts and the eight skirts. So the skirts are only two different styles and they had varying sizes and all eight of them are still here. I had the high waist mini skirt in antique. So this was a blue color and a high waist mini skirt in black and uh, size range 5'6", 9, 10, 10, 12, 12, 14. And those are all still here. I initially listed them as high as I did the shorts. I think I started them all at $40. I've delisted, relisted, lowered the price. I've had minimal interest, but anytime there was interest, I sent offers super quick, like right away. 
still no takers. So I guess if you find one teaspoon girl shorts, get on it. If you find the skirts, stay away because really I, I have no buyers for these, no buyers. So again, I will say, as I said with the men's, if you're looking for these styles, definitely reach out to me. Um, Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, preferably Mercari, and uh, I will hook you up. So anyway, I think you can see where this one is going to. I spent $80 on this box. My profit right now, negative $16. So I still have not broken even. The good news is, if there is any good news, if I sell one of these skirts, I'm going to break even pretty much. The bad news is, I don't know if I'm ever going to sell these skirts. Um, it has only been, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's been a couple months, but I think for skirts, if they're going to sell, they're going to sell in the warmer weather months, which we are now getting past. So not so great with that one either. So three, one teaspoon boxes, definitely the women's box did the best, although it didn't do great. I did not double my money on any of them. And overall I'm at a loss. So I love Boutique by the Box. I stand by the products that they sell. Um, this one just was not the jam. Unfortunately, this one was not the jam. And um, no, I, I wouldn't purchase this again. I don't know that I would purchase a one teaspoon liquidation box again. Um, at least not with these styles. These styles just simply were not sought after and probably saturated on top of that. So that's a bummer. Um, there have been so many good Boutique by the Box boxes I've received. Um, definitely check out my other videos if you want to see some of the ones that have done great for me. It's just not this one or these three, unfortunately. So uh, there you have my results. And um, I wish I had better news, but I certainly don't. Let me know in the comments if you ordered any of these three boxes and if you had any better results. And also, did you get like the same pieces as me or was yours a little bit different variety? And I am curious to know that just to know exactly how saturated the market really was. I think that'd be very interesting to know. So let me know in the comments below. Um, certainly make sure you subscribe to my channel. Coming up next month, I have a lot more unboxing videos, including several more Boutique by the Box unboxings of brand new merchandise that they just got in. I know they've made some staffing changes over there and they've sort of rebranded a little bit. So I'm excited to see what they're sending out these days. And um, yeah, that's it. Drop me a like on the way out if you're still here. That certainly helps out my channel too. And I will see you in the next one, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.